Hello, viewers. I'm SB. And I'm Amabel. And welcome back to Thief Deadly Shadows, where we're still trying to steal this golden slab of reproach. Uh, so we gotta, we gotta find a secret switch somewhere in the study. And then we gotta, um, I was gonna say that's a weird place for that, but it's a weird place for that because I moved it there. Um, then we gotta haul ass to the Northern Gallery while the secret door is still open because the secret door will only be open for a limited amount of time after the switch is pressed. We were just told it's somewhere in this room. We were, we were told it's in the study. I, th I think we're in the study. Right? This is the southeasternmost corner of the it like floor. Yeah. Well, it kind of looks like a study. I wouldn't put a yeah. bed in a study. Oh, this, this bit of the room looks like a study. And then also there's a bed over there. The, like a whole bedroom. Okay. Well, let's find... That let's find, said... Let's find the library. I do feel like... Um, I do feel like I've looked quite thoroughly in this area and not... Yeah. Garrett, what on the... What in the entire fuck? I just jumped straight up and he did like a series of spins there. I, I think what happened is... Yeah, he's like... He's trying to mantle onto the bookcase, and then because he's entering an area where he's close to the wall, he's trying to go into wall flattening mode on top of the bookcase, despite the fact that that's insane and there's no universe in which that could possibly work. This game. Okay, so like the gallery, right? Um, yeah, have we have we dropped everybody? Ooh, hey, that's loot. But have we dropped everybody in here? Maybe. No. No, we have not. The study is across from the library, so if we find the library, and you, we have a compass, right? We should be able to figure out if that was, in fact, the study. Boy, this is a real creepy quality to it. I don't... <laughs> yeah. Huh. Do we know about this little secret? No, I don't think we did. Maybe you found a secret. What even is that? Is that a gemstone? I feel like just calling this stuff loot with a value... It it's not... I think that lacks the personality that we had in the previous game, where everything was a thing, right? Yeah, huh. We haven't been in this room. We did, We have not thoroughly examined the bottom floor, apparently. I think that's true. I think I, I went upstairs pretty early. Here's another person who keeps their, their journal entirely with days of the week. Thursday. Will the storm never let up? We've been kept in port for three days while the men stay on pay, lest they find other work. The treasure perplexes me. What manner of gold is it that gleams so, but does not dent? What does the strange symbol on it mean? Is it solid? No, not heavy enough. Hollow, then. There should be some punctuation or something around here. Friday. I endeavored to melt it, but the treasure shows no sign of warp or scorching. I've heard of things protected by wards and such. Could this be such an item? I have placed it in the secret room for now, but this warrants further study when I return. Monday. Hopefully the next Monday. Who knows? Could be three weeks later. The weather finally broke, and tomorrow will set sail. If the dockmaster is in a mood to take a bribe from an old marauder like me. Too bad I'll have to leave behind my fine gold telescope, the Nereid. The glass lens is chipped. If I were a superstitious man, I'd delay the trip. For now, it will stay here on display in the rotunda. Okay. So this is probably his study, then, given that that's his... Yep, and there's the switch. This room is, you know, every bit as much a study as the last one, except there's no bed in a study. Hmm. Right? Simple I mean, enough. You know, I've never... 
Have you ever had a study? I've never had a study. No, of course I've never had a study. I'm a real person. Real people have studies. Yeah, real people who can afford a house. Have you ever had a breakfast milk? No. Have you ever had a foyer? Annabelle, I have lived in shitty apartments my entire life. Because I am fucking poor. <laughs> Not just poor. I am definitely all the way too fucking poor. <laughs> That's not true. There's a, There was a period, very briefly, um, where we were renting, me and two of my friends were renting a house from someone. So we could have had, there, there was, that was a time when we were not in an apartment. We could theoretically have had house-only rooms like that. We didn't, but it was possible at least. Of course, in, in your apartment, you have what I would qualify as a, a dining room. Uh, accurate? I mean, is it a room? It's not separated from the spaces around it by a wall. We, so we, have, a, we have a huge, a single huge room at the front of the apartment, and part of it has a table in it. A huge L-shaped room. Yes. And one part of the L next to the kitchen has a table where... We would eat if we didn't have a bunch of board games there. Who? Okay, hold on. Who's we? We, do, we? we have shared meals at the table. Yeah, no. Who's we have a bunch of board games on it? <laughs> okay, that's... I, I can't knock people out correctly while they're lay, sitting down. This guy has, like, completely got my number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to just back. steal everything on the table while he's sitting there. These are jeweled goblets. That's some rich people shit. I, I, I could never. Uh, he refuses to be alerted by the cat. Okay, so we've seen the switch. We just need to make sure we can get into the gallery. Quickly. If someone who owns a cat, I'll tell you, after a while, you are you are no longer alerted. Yeah, the if the cat's just, like, running for no reason, especially at night, it's just like, well, that's happening. Because the cat's working as a... There ain't nothing here. You agree? Cold shoulder. I don't want to be, like, sexist or anything, but it does really seem like all of the... Women on this map are haunted. Yeah. Did, did you notice that? Like they're all just kind of like wandering around in a daze, and this is a shadowy corner. Nobody's gonna notice him there. I think that's just genre appropriate. Are these big ovens? These are big ovens. Oh right, fucking dynamic light. I was like, all of a sudden, my sh my shadow gem is going crazy. Right, because the lights work like lights do. That's good. That's cool. I dig that still. The novelty has not worn off. Why is this open? Boy, that guy responded very strongly to me opening that door. I love that there are dozens of guys throughout this city. With the same vocal pattern and personality, who all work as guards. Well, it's sort of self-fulfilling, right? Like, that that vocal pattern becomes associated with guarding, and then all of a sudden, you talk like that, people won't hire you for anything else. Is she coming back this way? I would really like to get rid of her. She's, like, patrolling. I'd really like to get rid of her, if, if possible. Because we do need to be able to make it quickly and quietly from one side of this floor to the other. I, I touched the door. I burned myself on the door. Okay, that's... What episode are we on? Because it's like the first really charming thing. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I really... I really like that. I really like that I backed myself into the hot door. <laughs> That's cool. Strange. This was always closed before. 
This is the second time you have seen it open right in front of you. Are you going to do anything? No. You deserve every bit of this bone deletion. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Sometimes I feel bad about it. Not with this guy. This guy deserved it. Okay, not a stealable painting. God, there are so many people just wandering around. It's actually very annoying. There's also treasure over there. Was that, a... Was that some kind of bone deleter? <laughs> On the bright side, and it, the, um, as far as I can tell, the, the thunder and lightning is, you know, it's just the lightning, just the sound effect. We're not seeing, like, a bunch of illumination from... Yeah, the lightning... As, as much as the lightning is affecting the illumination of the environment visibly, it is not affect... It doesn't seem to be changing our light gem at all, and I do think that's a huge disappointment. Yeah. Sound. Not sure. A place like this. Gotta expect some extra noise once in a while. Just realized I haven't quick saved in a minute. Let's do that real quick. You know, maybe just because we're coming back to this after, you know, a few days away from it, but like the spooky Gothic Mansion vibes are really doing it for me this time. For whatever reason. Yeah, I mean they're effective. I think I think it's reasonably effective here. Um, well this is the gallery. Right? It's gotta be. What was the piece of information that we had gotten that had me thinking it was on the top floor before? Because I remember thinking, I don't know. I guess it was just because we thought that room on the top floor might be the study. Whatever. We know better now. Um, yeah, I agree with you. The, the, the vibes are hitting better right now. It might be because, yeah, we're, we're in a fresh recording session. Energy is high. We're more receptive, we're less tired <laughs> of the game and its bullshit. I mean, don't worry, the, the, the game I'm sure will deliver on that front sooner or later, but... It's so weird that there's a locked chest with one of those goblets in it, but also those goblets are just kind of like loose all over the mansion. Okay, so we've got a pretty direct route here. We don't actually have to go through the dining room at all. But there is still at least one woman who patrols in this area, and I would like to like to see if I can do something about that. I think she's coming. That looks comfortable. I don't. I don't like the way her bows were deleted. That's. It's her sick new breakdance finisher. And then she just stays like that. The judges go crazy for it. She yeah. she does need like help and surgery every time, but it's worth it, you know. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, there's not actually a door in that doorway. Oh, this door is not open. <laughs> we got into that room before via the um, the secret passage. Those locks. But I probably do want that door to be open. that lady going into the other room or no she's angling back around this way honestly I don't know that I think this is worth an arrow I will say one way in which I do feel like the storm is actually increasing my, like, stress level is it makes it actually a lot harder to listen for footsteps. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
This is so creepy. This right here is so creepy. This dude just like placidly sitting in this chair. Yeah, to be clear, I would never go to a mansion on a cliffside. It's just no good would come of that. No, of course not. Listen, I'm, I I know better for a bunch of reasons. First of all, I've read the Westing game. Secondly, you know, rich people. Rich people in general. That's... <laughs> the Westing game, that brings me back. I don't even know if that's, like, uh, applicable there. I just, like, I was trying to think of a thing. What's a cultural thing that has a mansion on a cliffside? And I don't... Does that? <laughs> I, I... That was the first thing my brain coughed up. <laughs> There is a mansion. I don't know if it's on a cliff side. You know, maybe Wuthering Heights? I mean, there are heights. You're, you're Wuthering on them. Maybe there's a cliff side. I don't know. Oh, over here. I just kind of assumed it would be behind the big that big painting over there. But I guess not. I, f I keep forgetting we have a body in this one. I look down and I see my whole my whole goofy ass situation. Yeah. Chip, was chain, Crimson, Garrett, fuck it. Okay. Was Crimson Peak on, on a cliffside? <laughs> Garrett just fully like stumbled backward and got tangled in the chains there. Oh. That's got to be the compendium. What a curious... Huh. It's got a sort of an odd, uh, odd thing carved into it. If anything, you know, it reminds me of a, um, like a next station map. Edwina, if you're reading this, it's because I am gone. But fear not, for I have provided for you. The money in the chest will keep you surrounded by servants. There's a golden slab, too, but it's a mystery to me. Could be some kind of fool's gold or enchanted. You won't need it, though. Not with that chest filled with coin. Yours forever, Robert. So, here's a question. Are you going to take the money? Yeah, I mean, yeah, right? I, I mean, it is a rich person, and generally, I... I, I don't think say... that people... See, this is interesting. They actually, like, put it in the notes... This is some really clumsy shit. But like, hey, moral choice. There's a big difference between the widow needs the money to survive and the widow needs the money to remain surrounded with by servants. I'm opening the chest. Okay. I'm curious if the money will be a single thing or if it will be a bunch of stacks of coins and like how much we're allowed to take. Before it, you know, narratively kills her. See, this this is the difference between you and I, because I, I, I just couldn't. It's a single bag. Even though it's a rich person. But it's coins, right? We can open the bag up and leave 20%. Yeah, yeah this is some clumsy shit. I'm taking it. I refuse to play their game. Their, their fucking emotional manipulation game. I mean, this is a problem with um, video games in general when there are, are moral choices. It's always, you know, save the grandmother or kill her. Yeah, yeah, often it's, it's yeah, it's very, very clumsily executed. Uh, hold on, OBS still has not reacquired the stream. There we go. Okay, well, uh, is there, where are the, where are the operation buttons for this thing? Okay, they're over here. You know, I now all we have to do is make it out of here. And, like, it's not hard to do actual moral quandaries in, in art, because that's literally what much of art does. It's not always as simple as, you know, kill or save. Are we comfortable with 
some people can do it, therefore it's not hard. I don't I don't know if I'm on on board with that conclusion. Wait, what? I've stolen the compendium, but I can't read it any more than Captain Moira could. I'll have to bring it back to the keepers. Besides, I want to see the look on their faces when I hand it over. They've been searching for years, and I found it in one night. Yeah, weird. It's almost like they weren't actually looking for it, and it's a mission that they seeded directly for me. What I'm saying is, it'd be nice if they even tried. That's all. Okay, it teleported us back to the Keeper Barracks, where I guess we are living now. That, I mean, that makes sense. Um, I don't have the stream yet. If... <sighs> That's right. Nope, you don't. OBS picked it up right away this time, and so I was like, okay, we're good. Uh, okay, yeah, this is just the Hammerite note. A compendium of Reproach. I did not expect it recovered. Not in my lifetime. It should be delivered to Kataka immediately. For study. Yes, most unfortunate. Still, I cannot help but admire his accomplishment. Recovering it could not have been easy. But the timing could not have been worse. The council should discuss it. Agreed. Wait, what's the problem? Fill me in. What's what's going on? Nope. Nope? Okay, I don't get to know what's up. Also, it's a real bummer that Garrett's like, Oh, I can't wait to see their faces. And then we don't get to... We're fast-forwarded past the part where that happened. Yeah. Yoink. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> I dropped this here. <laughs> Does anybody want to talk to me about what's going on? No, y'all couldn't shut up last time. All right, what is our formal objective? Okay, nothing. It's uh, nothing new. We're just okay. we can we can still mission. also do the other mission. Okay. Okay. What well, what? What the fuck is wrong? Like, what's the problem? This is the part I'm not allowed to be in, right? I don't know. This is the bedroom. It's the bit beyond the bookcase that we're not allowed to be in. Yeah, I guess there's not really anybody in here to ask. So I guess we just go do the sewer thing and... Trust me. Wasn't it me who handed him the paper? Wasn't yeah. Wasn't it me who spoke the words? Yeah, wasn't it you? Oh. To trust. Oh, you're cruising for a delusion... <laughs> How you doing there, sweetie? Pardon my very attractive laughter. I mean, I guess we'll just go to the sewers. Yeah. All right. Fucking whatever. Will, do you think there'll be Ninja Turtles? I Do I think there will be Ninja Turtles in Thief Deadly Shadows? You know what? I have to say no. I don't think that that's likely to occur. Had to be some fucking twist, though, huh? Yeah. All right. So these sewers are accessed via the dock area. Yeah, okay. Via the dock. sewers. Hmm? Via Sorry, dock. yes. Yes, yes. Via docks. Not the docks. Simply docks. Uh, so where the heck? We just came out of the... Th I don't even know where I am. Something indeed. Ha! Someone's there! In the street! Ha! Coward! Ah, but have you considered? Oh! We're just, I'm just gonna uh, lose this dude at the zone line like I'm playing fucking EverQuest here. Good evening. Every, everybody get out of the way. Train to... Train to Black Barrel entrance. Ah, 
that guy, he did not uh, cease to be the way I thought he was going to. Mm. So I'm going to... Uh, also, I will have I will have you note I couldn't like interact with him in any way. Um, the viewers know what I'm talking about. I didn't have time to feed you the thing. The guard was still standing out there, and uh, I think we came into the thing inside of him, and as such, I could not strike him because I was trying to backstab him. I mean, you you could if you you aim hit, hit the right spot. <laughs> That's a joke about you being inside. I, oh boy. A joke, is it? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Yep, you're just gonna have to, just gonna have to ride for a second here. Okay. Okay. Alright. I am sharing the screen with you now. I had to flashbang that guard because he was camping the zone. All right, so we're at the Tursus Courtyard. I need to get to the sewers, and to the sewers we get from the South Quarter or Old Quarter. So, yeah, just... I'll do. Is that guy's earring flashing? With me, sir? Oh, no, it's his glasses. Okay. It's like, is Garrett just going to rip that dude's earring out? Because that seems harsh. This is the way we want to go. I think that that keeper rune that we saw there, that was the way. That was the way we've been already. I don't remember where it goes. Uh, unfortunately, like traveling is so painful with the load screens and stuff that it's just like yeah. any zone transition we don't absolutely have to do. Uh, I'm just going to avoid. Okay, so South Quarter, yeah, all the way across. But this does give us a chance actually to uh, swing by a fence. Not a fence that will buy everything, but a fence that will buy some stuff. Yeah. And also, we can lift a portion of our rent back. Our landlord should be dead by now, right? Like, yeah. Which I mean, he's not. He's not made the payments to whomever. Take your time. Is supposed to be. He's supposed to be making payments to in some time, as far as they know. We need ourselves on stocking yeah. everything a person like yourself might need. A person like myself. You watch that. I was about to say, you have no idea how heavily armed I am. But actually, worse, you do, because I bought all my weapons from you. Hey, Gary. How's the thieving going? It's <laughs> pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of medals. So you know, I don't take artwork. You know. No, I know. I know the deal. It's so weird that the mail fences don't hit on you. The way the ladies do. Well, you know, compet. Substrate. Here's the thing about straight people. Let me let me let me speak to you of the the bizarre perversions of the hats. Uh, they just go around their lives assuming that everyone else is also het. It's bizarre. It's bizarre and gross. Yeah, I... They're... They're allowed to do what makes them happy, but I don't support their lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's just, it feels like a, a really irresponsible choice, you know? Yeah. Alright. There's gonna be some people who are legitimately angry at us in the comments, but hold on, let me feed, let me feed this. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I've maybe I've run all those people off. Maybe there are no more straight people in my audience at this point. Or or at least straight people would be offended, you know. Yeah, listen. If you're hey, if you're out there, and you're still listening, and you're and you're uh, a cis hat, 
welcome, you know? Is this one of those things? No, it's a, it is a cornerstone, but it's not. It's hard to tell in the dark. Okay, so we just came through the South Quarter thing. Two sewers. I mean, okay. Hold on. We should try to visit the fences here, too, because one of them does take... One of the fences here is the one who takes medals. But that is a person in a city guard tabard. So I'm just going to wait here for a second. Okay. How goes it, then? Have a nice night. Hmm. There's, unfortunately, a lady right behind. Making my life more difficult. I don't understand how he didn't. <laughs> it just doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. I'll find you, and that's a promise. I don't think that that seems terribly likely, sir. That's very good. That's, you know, I know that's not on purpose, but I, I kind of, I kind of wish it was. I kind of wish like. I don't know. The guards had specific levels of, of eyesight that you could you could fuck with. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe there's something more complicated going on. The problem is that, like, if you've put a bunch of effort into like running some kind of complicated mechanics under the under the hood, but in a way where the players a hundred percent cannot tell that that stuff is happening, then. You haven't, you haven't then. <laughs> yeah. You effectively have not done the thing. I will right, worry about fencing stuff later. Okay, nothing else here. We're not going to need the, the money right this second anyway. Although after we do this mission, I suppose... Looks like I found the entrance. You know what, hold on. After we do this mission, it's likely to just teleport us back to... Keeper territory? Oh, it might, yeah. So, actually, maybe I do want to... Garrett, can you seriously not... I had to back up and get a clean run at it. Maybe it is best that I take care of this now, actually. Okay. Apologies for the indecision, y'all. So I don't know where that guard went. Kind of a lot of guards walking around tonight. Yeah. All right. Hi there. Welcome to the undercurrent. Darn it, you are a purchase guy. Let me know if I can help you find anything. And don't break nothing you can't pay for. Got it? I don't think we need to buy anything here. No. The, uh... The for sale black market illegal fence person is... All the way over there by the pagan area, which I guess is... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, the guard is shit. This is no good. I'm not fully in the dark here. Um, if it were something, I know it. We may have to. We may have to break and run real fast. <laughs> we'll see. Was it this game where early on you got captured by some guards and put in the prison and had to escape? Yes. That also was tra two charming things. This game is called. You put yourself on an oven and, and that. I don't know. I don't think it's all that grim. I don't want to like overstate the the grimness of it, but yeah, there's definitely some stuff that's been rough. Yeah. Who's that? Let me get a look. Okay, there we go. It is fun to delete phones. I will say it, it almost feels like um 
almost feels like a waste to bother giving the fences personality because they are just a glorified menu. And like almost all of your interactions with them are going to be the thing I just did. Yeah. Where you you interrupt the first spoken line and then run off. I mean, it would help if they had... Because the thing is, they give them personalities, but the personalities are awfully flat. I this, uh, I this is the thing. This is what I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm saying. I don't think it would help if they gave them better personalities because you're not going to listen to it. I mean, you might if it's good. If it's like good stuff, you might like. But you won't know if it's good because you're not going to listen to it. But the, you're just gonna you're just gonna hit the button and then leave. They got, they got to win you over early on. Looks I like I found the entrance to the sunken citadel Keeper Rafe talked about in his journal. According to him, the glyph key disappeared underground some time too long ago to think about. Rafe also mentioned caverns swarming with strange creatures. Guess that's why the keepers put a glyph lock on the entrance. It would be nice to know what sort of creatures, but the keepers have never been much for useful detail. Boy, ain't that the truth. It turns out not only did the glyph key disappear down here, but so did Rafe. The keepers never sent anyone after him but I don't expect he's still exploring the place. I don't have any good leads on where to look for the key, but I can start by looking for Rafe's remains. Also, I'm guessing the area will turn out to be, you know, more or less linear. So. Yeah. One more, one more relaunch and refeed here. Hopefully, hopefully for the last one. Okay, here we go. So, that symbol is Keeper Glyph esque. Keeper Glyphs tend to have round parts, though, right? So I'm wondering if having freed that guy earlier is going to pay off at all here. Well, I hope so. It is kind of wild, isn't it? That they, they, this is just, this is just, it's such a creature from the Black Lagoon man as a, as a f faction. What do you think of that? Um, I don't know. I think that's. Here's the thing, Creature from the Black Lagoon is pretty C tier as far as universal monsters go. I got that. I got you. I got you. I think I managed to disappear behind the uh boy, that's how he's holding that, huh? Alright. <laughs> I, I don't mind them for using you know, doing an homage to that creature design. Okay, this is not sorry, I'm not this is not my question. Um My question is like it's not about intellectual property theft, it's about like that design is actually very goofy and not scary. Like what do you feel about the fact that this creature design is so goofy and not scary? Wait, is it? Yes. Are we are we not in agreement on this? I want you to put yourself in the mindset of someone who was like 12 or 13 playing this game. Okay. That would be scary. No. I submit I submit to you. No. I submit to you that... A hammer haunt is scary. Because hammer haunts are like all about evoking the fear of death. And everything, right? Like... What are these, what are these guys evoking the fear of? Fish? Fish are scary. Oh no, he doesn't have any bones! <laughs> ah, but have you considered? Run, run, sweetie, run. It's interesting that that one was not affected by the first flash bomb. Um, okay, so here's my current here's my current theory. They're not they're not they don't have bones. 
they are supported by sort of like a, a series of a system of fluid filled bladders, maybe. Okay. What part of that is goofy and not scary? <laughs> What are you? Are you Giant like a rats? Great. It's pretty low tier. Pretty low, pretty low tier commentary there, Garrett. So I didn't end up reading whatever was in that other open book. We should probably read this one. Right, I forgot that water arrows are on like nine if you approach them that way. I wonder if the Ratman will be vulnerable to knockouts. Us orderings. Oh no. Finders them crown, taken long ago by them's Kershock, who betrayed the Leafy King. Checks for them throne room, bees might there. Checks for them throne room, bees might there. We takers us back we takers us it back with us, returns it to him that feeders us, why not returners? And drinks us in honeyed mead, them woodsy lord. Kills us any Kershock or other getters in our way. We got a new woodsy lord. A golden crown, eh? Now I'm interested. I have a question. Yes. About that, them, them throne room? Them throne room that speed, yeah. whatever? What, what is your opinion of the card throne room? In the game Dominion. What? I what? Listen, I know focus is not your strong point on the best of days. Ouch. Oh, your bones, I took her. I took her to spouts. Yeah. Okay. Are they are they going to war with something in there? With with the fish people, I think. Oh yeah, that is a fish guy up there. I thought it was another rat guy at the top of the hill. You can only see up to his like waist. But I guess the stance is a giveaway. Uh did he just like totally wreck them? He did. Absolutely he did. Okay, these dudes are tough, and they are not they are not blackjackable, it seems. So much yeah, these guys are scary, sweetheart. These guys are at least as scary as a ham haunt. Okay, now that's ridiculous. Better hope I'm not sticking around long enough to see these hatch. I don't think I would want to drop down. I guess let's just try to keep like some stone between me and this dude as we're crossing the light area. Oh. And also these fish guys betrayed the the leafy king. I, I assume the leafy king is the woodsy lord. Yeah, I think so. So like they're, these, yeah, the, 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 these are tough cookies. Yeah, and I guess, like, more or less, we're on... We're kind of sort of on the side of the Woodsy Lord, maybe? As much as we're on anyone's side. You know, this is maybe a situation where it's worth darkening the spot that I need to be standing in for a second. Oh, never mind, there was no lock on that. Well, I still like turning that off. Like, for example, for this purpose. Oh, boy, uh... 
guess I'm just gonna back all the way up against this and hope he doesn't. Okay, they're not very aware. Which is strange. Do you think sea creatures probably have better vision in the dark? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they would have underdeveloped vision because it's not actually all that useful in oh, the dark true. water. Let's... No counting noise now. Alright, I want to test. I want to see if if I can, in fact, blackjack them and I just wasn't close enough last time or something. So we're testing. Okay, yeah. Okay. It worked that time, just not the time before, for whatever it, reason. Well, the, the one might have been a, too alert. Yeah, 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 that's true. The, the rules regarding that are pretty murky. Which, I don't know, if I was expecting someone to hit me in the back of the head, I don't think I'd be more conscious than if I wasn't expecting it. Why not? You could just just flex the back of your head. Just look really okay. tense up. Hmm. I don't think there's anything going on here except for the special loot. Okay, we can definitely get up on this side. Yeah. I just need to be sure that that guy is not going to catch me climbing and try to sword fight me. Because I'm assuming from the way they wield those massive swords that probably they could just cut me in half with a single swing. Now, can you put that light out? The huge brazier? Um, it did not occur to me that it would be, you know, it looks like too much fire. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Okay. So I was planning to just scramble up there, but there is loot in the window. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah, it's, it's excellent how wobbly they get. Uh-oh. I do kind of get what you're saying, though. About, about the creature design. Because if you look at, like, the the weird-looking mantis see crab dudes in the first game. Yeah. Like, those were really creepy. And there's, a, there's like, a weird alienness to their movement and stuff. This is a, this is a man in a suit, 100%. This is... This is... I, I don't want to, to overly insult the makers of Thief Deadly Shadows, but this this feels like something I've seen in an Elder Scrolls game. Oh. Alright, well, first of all, direct all of your complaints to Amabel at the, the name of our show. Um, dot org, I assume. Uh, but... Please stop biz. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! More tiny things. There's so much little loot in this area. So I didn't actually grab that loot thing that was there that drew me up onto the bridge in the first place, I'm not realizing. Hmm. Um, but, you know, it's just like, um, I, I don't think it's a mistake. I don't think they screwed up. I think it's an intentional, because you couldn't, right? You couldn't design that thing, especially with it looking so much like a creature design whose place in pop culture at this point is mostly, like, to be laughed at for being hokey looking and not notice, right? I'm saying zero, zero percent that it was supposed to be anything other than kind of hokey. 
Um, I'm just curious what they're doing with that. Like, why? Why is that the move? I mean, maybe they're just fans of it. And maybe... Yeah, they... could be, could be. I mean, honestly, I, I part of me, you know, reflexively wants to say, well, that's unfair to... Oh, no. To, ...to describe it as as these days just being hokey and you're, people aren't really engaging with the film. But it's not really... It's not that great. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to wait for that rat to come back. We've gotten stuck in um, permanent jump mode, so I need to find a way to fix that. I want to feel a lot better about bumbling around trying to fix that if this guy is down. Was he just like... <laughs> is this yet another creature that's like working out riffs for its band? Oh, I can't use my fucking limbs. No, nope, now I can swing, huh? Uh -huh. It wouldn't let me do it while while his hand was raised. I do like the way the rat people are voiced like they are the incompetent henchmen for a villain in a in a Disney cartoon. That's I was going to I was going to like reflexively make fun of the rat vo the rat monster voice a little bit, but then, you know, thinking about it for a second, I was like, no, I've definitely used that voice for a monster in some series on this channel. I must have. Well, He's running. I, I, as best I can. <laughs> Stay back, beast. I don't like the fact that you can't, like, you can't charge a strike or anything anymore. Garrett, Garrett has one, one attack and it's just like, hold the button down to, to do it in auto. Yeah. Oh, hey, that was cool. Okay. Um, so if I load... So I, I loaded the quick save. Hold on. You'll see in a second. Uh, if I load when we're in that, like, stuck in the crouch, the jump crouch position, when we load, he actually does the jump. And then your body returns to normal. Okay. So I knocked these guys out before, though. We know they can be knocked out. <laughs> But you, you have to, like, really take being perfectly behind them and getting them locked into the animation seriously. That's a bummer. Okay, so I'm assuming we're just supposed to follow the red markings to get to the, the treasure. And do the opposite of that if we want, you know, the treasure. Garrett can't help himself but whisper yoink out loud whenever he picks up loot. Because <laughs> that creature definitely just heard me picking up loot. <laughs> Do we think there's going to be anything else of value in here? Okay, those are pagans. Just normal human pagans. I guess that makes sense from the voices, but for some reason I was expecting more rat creatures. The rat creature design, I think, is, like, reasonably rad. Yeah. I mean, um, if we have, like, a hierarchy of rat creature design, it's not anywhere near, like, bone, but it's still pretty damn good. Okay, Bone is going for something very different. <laughs> and I think it's worth noting that the rat creatures in Bone are not rat 
creatures. Like, they're not rat-like at all. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Here's this. Yay! Yay! Citadel Core! What a good name for a map. So, the Kershaw Citadel. We just crossed this line. This purple, the purple bit. Okay. So, there's a bathhouse and a library and critically the throne room where we understand the crown is kept, although it is guarded by Kershaw. I and mean, this is the area that that, that that creature gave us the map to. I don't know. I, I I would really like it if us saving the creature paid off in some greater way other than just the map. But I don't know that I think it's terribly likely to actually occur here. Yeah. Um, so how about we call it right here for today? We're pretty close to an hour. We just switched onto a new map. I think this is a reasonable, a reasonable spot, a spot to drop it. I feel like we're moving at a pretty decent clip through these jobs that the, the keepers have laid out for us while all being very convincing in pretending that they, these things have been like outstanding for a long time. Cause like anybody could have done the thing that we did with the, <laughs> with the, uh, the, the codex, right? The, whatever it was, the yeah. tablet. I don't, it's very difficult for me to believe this just like, Oh, nobody could figure it out. We just had to sit here and wait until some kind of incredible genius thief came through. Cause like the thing that makes us an incredible genius thief is all the skill, the keeper stuff, right? All the keeper skills that they also have. I don't know. It's, I'm not sure that the, the story is a hundred percent working unless it all turns out to be some kind of, some kind of plot, some kind of scheme. And I think that's still like very much on the table cause it's the keepers yeah. and that's kind of their deal. Um, so anyway, that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, uh, we will be tookering the Woodsy Crown, Leafy Throne, Kershock, Lord, etc. And we'll see you then. Yay.